Hey boys and girls, today we are going to be making some paper mache pizza. So to get started, you're gonna get a piece of cardboard and you can use um, a pencil, but I'm just gonna show you in Sharpie because you're not gonna be able to see it, to just draw out how you want your pizza to look. So the top part should be kind of like a curved line and then the rest of it, you're just coming down into a V shape. And once you have that drawn out, you're gonna get your scissors and you are going to cut it out. All right, so once you have your shape cut out, we are going to get this um, glue mixture and you're gonna get strips of newspaper. And what you're going to do is place the newspaper all the way in the glue and then you're gonna use your other hand kind of like scissors around it and swipe off the excess glue. So I need to do that all on both sides all the way down to the end, okay? And then this first piece, we're gonna crumple it up so this way, we can start by molding the crust here. So I'm just kind of blobbing it on there. So I'm gonna get another sheet. I'm doing the same thing, I'm dipping it in, okay? And then I'm using my other hand to kind of squeegee it off as I pull it up, okay? And I crumple it up here and stick it on just like that. So you're gonna build up all of your crust first. All right, so once all your crust is done, you're happy with the thickness of it, you're gonna continue to wrap it with the newspaper. So I'm gonna show you this technique again, just because I feel like the more times you see it, the easier it is. Over the bucket, fingers are like scissors, and I'm just pulling it straight through, okay? So every time I wrap the pizza, that's what I'm gonna do. You wanna make sure that it stays flat. So when you do this now, you are going to kinda of hold it at an angle so that it easily goes around the edges and I'm gonna wrap it around, and I'm gonna go around the pizza, kinda of in whatever way the newspaper wants to wrap so that it's easy. And I'm gonna press down on the edges as I'm wrapping it to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And we're gonna end up covering our entire pizza with this uh, paper mache. So I'm going around over top of the crust here, around the bottom, I'm wrapping it, and I'm making sure that it's nice and smooth. You wanna make sure that you cover up all the sides here, so you shouldn't have any holes from the cardboard like I do right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that, and again, I'm using my fingers to make sure I push down so that everything is smooth so it will look like pizza and not newspaper. All right, so I've wrapped almost everything. Um, what I'm going to do next is with the crust, just to make sure that it's nice and smooth, I'm gonna put a layer that kind of goes horizontal around it and then just push that down and wrap it around. Really, really important that you smooth everything down with your hands because if you don't, the paper is gonna stick up and when it dries, you're not gonna have a pizza. It's gonna look like a bunch of paper. Um, so really make sure you're using your hands to push down on at all the edges of the newspaper to smooth everything out. And once this part is done, we are gonna start on the cheese. So for the cheese, we are going to get some good old fashioned toilet paper. And you're just gonna rip some of it off and dip it in the glue, okay? And when you take it out of the glue, you're gonna kinda just mush it around, right? and you're gonna pull it apart a little bit. So this is gonna shred nice and easy, and then you're gonna press it down on the top so it's kind of you know lumpy and bumpy, just like cheese, and spread it out all over the top. And in all honesty, when I do this, I'm just kind of placing it down and then just mushing it down with my fingers, okay? Because you don't want it to be really smooth, you want it to be bumpy like the cheese is, okay? So you're just kind of mushing it down just like that. And once you have all the cheese down on your pizza, it is time to let it dry so we can get started painting. All right, so now that my I have this pizza that's all dry, I made this earlier, we're gonna start painting it with the crust. So I have a few different colors of brown. So depending on how you like your crust, uh, you're gonna paint it that color or multiple colors. So this is actually um, pretty quick drying acrylic paint. Um, so you're gonna just start with the bottom here and you're gonna paint the whole bottom first. 
And on the bottom here, if you care about the bottom looking realistic, you can take your paint and just kind of dab it on there because um, typically pizza has you know, some like dark spots on the bottom from sitting in the oven. So you can go ahead and do that. And then once you're all done, you'll flip it back over and you're gonna paint the crust as well. So the top part here, making sure not to forget the back of it. You also wanna make sure that you paint the sides too. So just that little edge right along the side. So you wanna cover up all the newspaper so it looks as realistic as possible. All right, so once the crust is done, you're gonna start with some of your sauce or gravy. And just on the edges here is where I want you to paint. So it's the top edge all around that cheese. It does not matter if you get it on some of the cheese, because I mean, if you think about it, gravy usually seeps through uh, the cheese, so you can usually see it. So I'm gonna go all the way up to that crust line, and I'm just kind of dabbing it on. And I'm gonna go all around the edge the top edge of the pizza with this red. Now, if you don't want any cheese on your pizza, you can just paint this whole thing red. But if you want cheese on your pizza, clean off your paintbrush. And we're gonna be using a combination of white and yellow for the cheese. So I'm just gonna dab on some of this white paint. And I kinda wanna layer it on here thick. So that way when I add the yellow, it kinda mixes in because the cheese on top of pizza is mozzarella, and mozzarella is a lighter cheese. It's actually more of a white, but tends to turn a little bit yellow once we get it on the pizza. So then we're gonna add in some yellow, and I'm gonna kind of mix it on the pizza. All right, so you can stop here, or if you wanna add toppings to your pizza, you can get some felt and cut some shapes of different toppings. So I've already cut some out. Um, I made some pepperonis, some mushrooms, and some peppers. Okay, so I just cut out circles, little strips of green, and then a mushroom shape, which is a little bit challenging, but if you're up for it, you can do that. So go ahead and cut out whatever toppings you wanna add to your pizza, and then you're gonna get um, some glue and glue them on. All right, so there it is. This is our paper mache pizza. I hope you guys have fun with this. Can't wait to see them. Bon appetit.